guys. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Suki. I'm Dara. And today we are going to react to how the, the Philippines manages manage manage seven thousand six hundred forty one island. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is really a good question. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Let's see. The Philippines is a complex archipelago nation in the northeast of Southeast Asia. Yeah. Made up of over okay. 7,000 islands across an area that's probably larger than you think it is. Um. This area is well known for having plenty of Spanish influences. Mm -hmm. But what were these islands like before the Spanish came? Furthermore, why was and is the archipelago so important? And how does the modern country integrate? All 7,641 of its islands. Yeah, that's a great, great question. Yeah. First, let's understand the main geography for continents. <laughs> great. The Philippines can easily divide it into three island groups. Okay. Three island groups. Yeah. Luzon, Visayas, Visayas Mindanao. Mindanao. We, we saw the north and Mindanao. Mindanao. Yeah. Yeah. Mindanao. 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 As a region, holds around 62 million people. Wow, that's so much. Mm -hmm. itself has a population of 53 million, alone making up more than half the country's population. Yeah. Luzon is also home to what's known as Metro Manila, a okay. mega city of 13 million made up of a collection of different smaller cities, mm -hmm. including the capital Manila and the largest individual city, Quezon City. Okay. The city of Manila is the densest city in the world, with more than 43,000 people per square kilometer. Mm -hmm. That's like so much. Yeah. Yeah. In context, Macau, the most densely populated territory in the world, holds around 21,000 per square kilometer. Oh. In fact, the second, third, and sixth densest cities in the world are also located within Metro Manila. Wow. Luzon as a whole is highly urbanized, with some of the country's biggest Beautiful. and most important yeah. deep water ports. It looks like Korea. Yeah. yeah. South Korea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a region, Luzon is also associated with the islands of Mindoro and Palawan. Palawan is so the Palawan Islands. West, as well as the Bicol region to the southeast. Second are the Visayas, comprised primarily of Bohol, Cebu, Nete, Negros, and Ay. Negros. The Palawan can also sometimes be included in this list. Yeah. The peoples of these islands speak several different yet closely related Visayan or Visayan dialects. Visayan dialects. And are also where Ferdinand Magellan first landed and was later killed. Lastly, mm. Mindanao is the southernmost cluster of islands, and its western portion remains predominantly Muslim to this day. Okay. Yeah, we know that. Mindanao itself is the second you told us. Islands, yeah. And is home to 26 million people, many of whom live in the largest city, Davao. Davao. Mindanao, however, is also one of the poorer areas of the country, mm. making up only 17% of the national economy, mm. largely supported by agriculture, fishing, and forestry. But before we can learn more about what this country is like and what challenges it has to deal with nowadays, first we have to... No, 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 this is not an advert. This video isn't sponsored. Okay, what are okay. we going to uh, Okay. We must first ask, what was it like in the past? More specifically, what was it like before the Spanish arrived? Yeah. yeah. And these regions are essentially only one country because of, well, Spanish colonialism. Before the Spanish first arrived, however, the map was a lot more fractured. Okay. The first credible written record in the Philippines, written in a mixture of old Javanese, old Malay, and Sanskrit, mm. okay. around AD nine hundred. the Philippine cultures also developed their own writing system from the fourteenth through sixteenth centuries. In Abugida, known as by Bayan. Oh, it looks cute. Yeah. I like the writing. Yeah. Have so many writing systems. But Bayan is part of the Brahmic family of writing systems. Mm. Okay. Brahmi. Rami. Which may or may not, it's still very disputed, descend from the anime. It's not uh, sure um, the ancestor was scripts including Latin, Cyrillic, and Arabic. Okay. Mm. Back in those days, the islands were home to a whole host of different colonies. While certain areas were often controlled by outside powers like the Brunei Sultanate. Sorry, I will make a really stupid question, but how do you write? I think like uh, do you use uh, like normal alphabets a uh, a b c d or you have other way to write you have other alphabet i don't know maybe it is a really stupid question but i'm curious i don't know do you know 
Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. It was also home to small colonies like Mahi and Tondo. These states often adopted the former government known as Barangay, as small colonies anywhere in size from small communities to city states. Rulers took one of many different titles depending on the region. From sultans in Islamized areas to rajas, where there have been extensive contact with Malaysia and Indonesia, mm -hmm. to the Khans among the Tagalogs. Okay. Barangays are still a thing in the modern Philippines as well. Mm -hmm. In these centuries, they formed the smallest administrative divisions in the country. Just below municipalities, themselves just below the. Wait, hang on. Alright, I want you all to get this right now. Does the Philippines have states or provinces? Vote now on your phones. Provinces. The answer is provinces. Ah, okay. <laughs> it was a question for us. No, I knew it was a question, but I was thinking. I, I didn't under understand that it was a question. No, I understand. I was I I I was going to say states, but actually it was province. So provinces. Provinces. Yeah. That's so much. Yeah. Filipino, an official variety of the Tagalog language. Mm. Yeah, I think that they uh, yeah. uh, answered to your question. Yeah, vowel. Okay, we so use normal alphabet. alphabet. Yeah, okay. And I think also depends in in uh, which province are you. Which, which, which is Strega? Ah, which Strega. province <laughs> are which? you? I guess it's a little like how Indonesia's national language also to unite groups speaking hundreds of native languages across a diverse archipelago nation. Mm. It's a Malay so dialect called Indonesian. With English being an official language alongside Filipino and thus being a mandatory subject in school, while Spanish has no longer been required for decades now, mm. the Philippines technically has the fourth largest population of English speakers in the world. Mm. That's a lot. Yeah. Native speakers and around 90 million speakers in total. Wow. The Philippines is one of the very few countries in Asia to have Christianity as its major religion. Yeah, mm, yeah. To tell you this, because colonialism. Yeah. Before they were taken over by the Spanish, though. In the comments, you told us there is um, Catholicism. It is the first uh, Christian Catholicism. Yeah. Okay. And then you have Protestant, and yeah. then you have Muslim, and... Uh, uh, Buddhism. Yeah. yeah. Buddhism. The Philippines were largely Islam. Oh. Before that, and early folk beliefs before that, and part of the So before the Spanish domination, the Philippines were um, the majority Islamic country. Yeah, the majority were Muslims. Yeah. Nice to know. Yeah. Uh, Mahdun Karim. Okay. Ah, okay, that's why Mindanao, in the Mindanao people yeah. are Muslim. Yeah. And then there is daughter, mm. Jesuit Persia. Islam became increasingly popular after this conversion, following an inflow of Muslim traders from the Middle East, Malaysia, and India. Okay, Today, this is Muslim interesting, we didn't know. But just 140 years later, another influential guy would show up in the Philippines. Mm. His name was Ferdinand. Okay, he's when it comes to colonialism, the Philippines is sort of like a reverse Thailand. When Magellan came to the islands in 1521, he claimed the archipelago for the Spanish crown, naming it after his friend Phil. Then he was shot by an arrow and quickly killed on the island of Actan. Further expeditions were sent, all ending in disaster. With Miguel Lopez de Legazpi establishing the first Spanish settlement on the islands in Cebu in 1565, okay. six years later. Alongside the soldiers, however, also came missionaries, with the aim of converting the local population to Roman Catholicism. Roman Catholicism. Which nowadays seems to have been about 82.9 to 85 percent successful. Okay. With yeah. The notable exception of the Muslim Sultanates of Mindanao and Sulu. Mm -hmm. And to very briefly summarize things, there were a series of revolts throughout the 19th century, which were all brutally suppressed until the rebels started to gain the upper hand. Mm, okay. The US, also fighting the war with Spain, basically said, Hey guys, y'all want some help fighting the Spanish in exchange for another 50 years of foreign rule? <laughs> both historically and in modern times, is primarily done by, Well, you're looking at the map, how do you think they get between the islands? The Rosinante? 
Aside from many cheap Sabre Pacific flights, there also exists a series of privately and publicly run ferries. Many of these ferries might also serve the Philippine Nautical Highway System, also no, okay. the Roll Up Terminal or Railroad System. A series of three different integrated highway and ferry routes forming the backbone of the national transport system. Navigating within islands can also be difficult though, as these tropical volcanic islands yeah, are yeah. mountainous and extremely forested. Yeah. Now, you remember how I talked about how dense Metro Manila can be? Yeah. No. That also applies to cars. So much traffic. Yeah. The densest city in the world wouldn't be a good place for the least density friendly form of river transport imaginable. According mm. to the Tom Tom Traffic Index, as of 2018, just so we don't have to account for COVID lockdowns, Manila was ranked the second most congested city in the world. Wow. It will be really difficult, difficult to drive there. Yeah, to go to work in time. Without congestion. It also doesn't help how little the city's public transport truly serves the demand it receives, with long waits for the MRT or LRT not unheard of. Mm. Thus, it is clear mm. that Manila needs help with its mass transit flows. Not you, Elon. <laughs> <laughs> you so no. Not you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Elon, oh my God. In addition, however, with them literally lying on their own tectonic plate, the Philippines is often subject to intense earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Yeah. I swear, I'm not the only one noticing parallels between the Philippines and Indonesia, am I? The 1991 eruption mm, in particular required more than 20,000 be evacuated. Mm. Combine this with the increasingly frequent and violent typhoons due to man-made climate change, and the struggle of keeping up well-functioning infrastructure becomes more and more apparent. Mm. Even with all these geographical challenges to contend with, though, the Philippines is still one of the most important countries in the Asia-Pacific region. Okay, and yeah. It's routinely forgotten about through what I like to call the New Zealand effect. The New Zealand effect. Um, first of all, it was a uh, interesting. It was, you said it was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, it, it was. Yeah, yeah. It was a uh, interesting video, and um, what impressed me that in Manila there is uh, sixty-three million people, right? Yeah, I don't think Manila. Yeah, I heard that before. I don't, I don't know. I think I heard that. But Italy has six, 63 million people. So all in Italy, all the country, there are just 63. Just uh, uh, 63 million people. Ha Manila has 63 million. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, because we saw in the other video that there are in the Philippines like 110. Not uh, 100 million people. Million people. Anyway, yeah, really, uh, that impressed me, and also the traffic. I didn't know that uh, Philippine has the second uh, is the second the country countries. that has a lot of traffic. Yeah. So also that is impressive. Yeah. And uh, yeah, wow. I think uh, we didn't know a lot of things like uh, before. Philippines were Muslims. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then become yeah uh, christian yeah this is really this video was really interesting yeah thank you for who recommended this video and see, see you next time video bye, bye.